Hello, welcome to my channel. This is your brother, Ike Frimpong, the teacher in the own KOK Ministries, Kingdom of Knowledge Ministries. We are imparting generations. I hope your staying here will be a blessing to you and to others. Continue to share our videos. Continue to hit the notification button. Share your experiences with us. And let us know what you really want us to tackle today on avoiding cheating. We are looking at something we ignore, something which is very interesting, but because we pay not much attention to, we tend to cheat. And what is that? We are discussing the value we place on sex. The value we place on sex. It's sad that society makes it seem that all that a man and a woman needs in life is sex. We have hyped sex to the extent that sex has become the norm. It has become a daily food. It has become a must-have. It has so much importance in our life then that to the extent that we tend to dwell so much on sex and its activity. Today says cells. If I decide to do sex on my program, all my videos will hit one million view plus because as humans as we are, we have placed too much value on sex. And because we value sex that much, because it is so important in our life, because it has become important in our daily activity, we tend to cheat. We do not compromise when it comes to it. We can fail in life, but we, don't, we must not fail with sex. Oh, we can be poor in life, but we can't be poor in sexual performance. It is like we were created with the purpose to come and enjoy our body, to come and have fun, to come and explore our bodies. Sex has taken hold of us. Sex has become the order of the day. Sex has become the most important things in our life. This is why we cheat. So today, on avoiding cheating, I'm admonishing you to do all you can to devalue the value you place on sex. Devalue how much you value sex. When we are able to devalue the value we place on sex, I believe, we can stay faithful to our partner. Men can, most men can't resist a sexual invitation, a sex invitation, a sex opportunity. They will grab it at all costs because they can't let it go. This is too valuable. This is a world cup. This is a must have. This is a set I need to progress in the next stage. This is what I must have. And because of that mindset, because of that thinking, the way, that way of thinking, because we have put sex beyond all other things, we tend to cheat. Most men cheat not because their wives are from them. Most men cheat not because nothing is working in the marriage. Most men cheat not because the marriage is not working. They cheat just because they have been presented with an opportunity. They have seen a lady that admires them. They have seen a lady that has fallen for them. They have seen an opportunity to take an advantage. They have seen a woman they can easily have sex or cannot resist them. Most men cheat, not because there is a problem at home. Most men have side chicks 
not because there are problems at home, but just because that second lady, that third party is so precious to let go. She's so yummy to let go. She's so delicious to let go. The value we place on sex. How important sex is to us will define whether we remain faithful or we cheat. Most African males and females value sex beyond anything else. That's why when they marry and the sex is not working, instead of staying and asking questions, finding solutions, trying to let your partner be the one who satisfies you, trying to grow the marriage to the point where each other is satisfied by his or her partner, we rather tend to look back and ask ourselves who is in our past that gave us the mind-blowing sex. My brothers and sisters, it is time for you to reduce the value you place on sex. It is time for you to devalue sex in your life. It is time for you to see sex as something that is normal, not a, an Olympic medal, not a World Cup, not an Olympic gold medal, not an esteem, not a confident booster, not a prestigious pride, but to see sex as a normal thing that a man enjoys, particularly with his or her married partner. See sex as something that is normal, that is not an entitlement, that is not a Champions League, that is not a World Cup. When we devalue sex in our life, we can and we will be able to overcome cheating. When we don't see sex as the ultimate, we will be able to overcome cheating. And today, on avoiding cheating, I am admonishing you to see sex as something normal. Don't see it as the ultimate and don't see it as an achievement. When me and you come to that understanding, then we will be able to stay faithful. Then we will be able to avoid cheating. Then we will be able to remain faithful to our partner. Thank you for watching me. Thank you for staying here. I'm very delighted to have met you. If today is your first time, hit the notification button and subscribe to the channel. Let's hear your opinion on the matter. Let's get talking. Share your experiences with us. Let me and my team know which topics you want us to tackle. And we'll do it with our gladness to your best of understanding. Thank you for watching. See you same time. God willing. Next week. Ciao.